Hi everybody, I'm going to do another ocean pour today and instead of doing my normal 12 by 12 which I do a lot of, today I'm going to do a 12 by 24. This is my next favorite size. I love these long rectangles and this is a warm up for a commission that I'm going to be doing, the larger commission. This commission I have is going to be 24 by 48. And believe it or not, this is half the size. So I'm going to try out my favorite colors, some ideas I have. Also, the request from the client was to have a little bit of a sunrise, sunset in the, in the top. So I'll see if I can do that. There's no pressure here. There's going to be a little more pressure when I move up to this size. So this is a great way to start. Try it out half size. So let me show you what I have here. I have some of my favorite blues, which I tried before. I really like them. And I made a dirty pour out of, out of these three blues. But I also kept some individual blues, which I'll add. So I'm going to start out with this dirty pour. So here we go. And I know this isn't enough to cover. That's why I, I kept the individual colors off to the side. And I wanted to mention, I did put a few drops of silicone in each individual color. This is the silicone I use. It's 100% silicone. It's a treadmill belt lubricant. I have the link to this in the description below the video. My goal today is not sales, but I can see that some are coming up. I'm more interested in the movement of the ocean. So now with this dirty pour down, I'm going to start pouring some movement of some of these same colors just in kind of a wavy pattern. And I'm not using white today. I'm using a what's called sparkling pearl. It's a little softer than titanium white. And I found that it looks really nice when you're trying to depict water. So I'm just going to go across with some of that. Now I'm going to... Oh, here's my other thing. This is a thalo green. So everything is not just straight blue. I'm using some of this phthalo green, but I didn't have it in the dirty pour, and I'm just going to use a little because I don't want it to take over. I do like the variety that it, that it provides, but I, I have found if I put too much, it wants to take over. So there it is. Now I'm going to tilt and see what I got. And I've still got paint left if I want to add a little bit. This is looking kind of fun. See, the dirty pour is looking really good. And I told you the thalo green wants to take over. Well, it's just about gone. <laughs> but I like, boy, I really like this, this area right here really doing nicely so I'm just going to get some coverage let me let me turn this around so you can see which way I'm going to tilt I'm saving some white space because um, I'm going to put this what would be a sunrise after I've tilted a little bit I didn't want the sunrise to blend too much so I'm waiting on that. We'll see how that works out for me. I just want to get a little more variety in this. This light blue seems a little solid.
See, now this dark blue that I just put in there is too harsh of a line, and I don't want to tilt anymore, so I'm just going to take my stick and break it up a little bit. Because I kind of like what's happening here. I don't feel the need to do a whole lot more. So now I'm going to proceed with a really light pink, and I'm going to do this hint of a sunrise. I don't mind if there's most of this runs off because I really just want it to be just the idea. I'm losing my yogurt cups. I'm going to add a little back in here. see what happens. And now I save some yellow to add to the sunrise. The reason I didn't put the yellow first is I didn't want it to turn out to be green. When it mixed with the blue, you're likely to end up with some green. I don't really want a green sunrise, so I'm just going to put a little stripe of yellow in here and see what happens. And maybe to soften it, I'll put some sparkling pearl in here, kind of a hazy sunrise. Just going to tilt a little just to blend those stripes. But I don't know, I, I think this is pretty good. I'm not going to do a whole lot else. Let me turn this, give you the correct angle here. This is a little bit of a hard edge, probably due to the fact that I poured this later, but that's okay. What I really like is what's going on here. I like this movement. I don't think I need to do anything else. I'm going to let this sit the way it is. I don't need to use a torch. There's plenty of cells here. Just from that one dirty pour, there's plenty of cells. And then where I poured the, where I poured the solids, you get some solid too. The, um, the sparkling pearl is showing up here. It's a little bit soft. There's a little bit more there. Maybe I'll give it just a little bit more of a, of a white white cap situation here before I quit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Somebody's probably yelling stop right now, but hey, this is just a demo. This is where I find out what I want to do when I double the size of this. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas. I will put the colors I used in the description below the video. There'll be a link to the silicone. There'll be a link to these great canvases. I love this long horizontal size. If you, if you use these, they make great horizontals, great verticals, depending on how you want to do it. I just love this, this shape. They work great for poor paintings. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to call that good, and I hope you do your own ocean pour. I know everybody loves the ocean, so do I. Ocean, water, a rushing stream, whatever you think it is. Give it a try, and we'll see you next time.